one, people are good. Now, if you know how uh, precise Goldratt was in his use of language, you understand that the words one, people are good, period, means exactly that. It doesn't mean that most people are good. It doesn't mean that people are good most of the time. It doesn't mean under certain situations people are good. It means people are good. Now, once you know that, first thing you're going to think about is all those people who weren't good. They didn't treat you right. They were mean to you. They were inconsiderate. They didn't act fast enough. Uh, they didn't show how much they liked you, how much they appreciated you, whatever. Goldratt's point isn't that people always act nice or even act well. His point is, is that people are inherently good and that any derogatory explanation of their bad behavior is not the way to go. Another garbage can. I'll be right back. A garbage truck, rather. It's the circumstances. And that's Goldratt's point, is it's not the people, it's the circumstances. Why is this employee not doing their job? Probably because the system has made it really difficult to do their job. Why is this guy not calling you back? Probably because the system he's in is making it really difficult to call you back. The, when we go immediately to the derogatory, we cut off our ability to understand the situation. I made reference to this in an earlier video about how we, in addiction treatment, use a lot of derogatory explanations for why patients don't do something. I had a conversation with a very good addiction doctor just yesterday, and uh, she was telling me about a different difficult case. And, uh, and, and yeah, she said, oh, this guy's a mess. And, and I said, well, no, no, he's not. Um, and, and, and as soon as you start down that road uh, where, you know, he's one of these guys who, or, well, he's an alcoholic, or this guy's a mess. Well, as soon as you do that, you cut off the necessity for you to use logic. You no longer have to understand the guy because that guy's not understandable. Who can understand a mess? So, like a lot of things in recovery, we don't look at the other person's fault or the other person's action. We look at our own. Well, the same goes here if you're trying to solve a problem in a system. You don't look at the other guy's problem. You look at your own. It's not that he's a mess. What am I missing? Even if you are convinced people are not good, Goldratt's point is, is if you want to solve any conflicts, if you want to solve your own problems, if you want to make quantum leaps in the performance of your business or your organization or your treatment or um, your treatment program or your patient or your relationship, whatever it is, if you want to make leaps in the improvement, your assumption, number one assumption has to be people are good. Have a good day.